it is trying another lane change here and it makes it in very very tough lane change there was a disengagement earlier but when we gave it a second chance fsd beta did it we're driving to a supercharged station in scotts valley this is a unique one with 32 stalls and half of them have the ccs magic dot connector right now we're on fsd beta 11.4.2 it's driving in the freeway and it will exit to the city streets pretty soon. You can see that the car is pre-conditioning for our supercharger use. Now take exit 3 on the right. So it's making an exit by itself to exit 3. And let's see how well FSD Beta does. We just left the freeway, we're now on city streets. One limitation with FSD Beta is that it does not know how to navigate most private loads so when i reach a private road where the supercharger is i'll have to disengage and manually park at the supercharger stall you can see that it's coming to a stop by itself this is the fsd beta visualization we're here in scotts valley so this is three minutes away from the station it's making a left turn by itself You can see our station will be on the right at King's Village Road. It's a beautiful, bright day. These are perfect conditions for FSD Beta. It's an OG Model S on our right. And we see a few more Teslas. Now it's trying to lane change, so let's see how it does. It's got to make a right turn. Can it do it? It can't. So that was a disengagement. I had to take over. So we'll stay in this lane for now. Once we pass the traffic lights, I'll turn on FSD beta again. Okay. It's back on. Let's see how we navigate the lane change. This is quite a tough area to lane change. We'll see what happens. Uh, round truck came in, so it couldn't lane change in time. So in this kind of situation, you've got to hold on tight to your steering wheel. You don't want any sudden movements by FSD beta. It is trying another lane change here. And it makes it in. Very, very tough lane change. There was a disengagement earlier, but when we gave it a second chance, FSD Beta did it. In 500 feet, turn right onto King's Village Road. I'm going to make a right turn. So this software, while not perfect, can do some things really well. We're now going to make a right turn. And I'll be taking over now soon. Now turn right onto King's Village Road. Once we enter the private car park. For now, FSD beta is still doing everything. In 500 okay. feet, your destination will be on the right. So I've just taken over because we're entering our destination already. So let's just go forward. I'm going to make a right turn here. Your destination is on the right. Okay. So on my right, you can see the 32 stall Tesla Supercharger Station. So let's park down here. Okay, you notice that the stalls on the left have a bigger connector because those have the magic dock. So let me just go to the other side, park in the normal Tesla connectors, and we'll head down. And let's see whether we got to use auto park here. It doesn't always happen. So while it appears, it's great, but if it doesn't... Okay, so let's see auto park. So all you need to do is let go of the steering wheel, press start, and auto park will be in progress. So watch it navigate as it enters the bay. And the car is doing everything by itself. My foot is not on the accelerator. Perfect. Now let's head outside. Let's charge this car and we'll go see if there are any non-Tesla EVs here. 
before we head out, because we are passengers in the back, we've got my mother-in-law and daughter behind. Can I say hello? Hello. So what we're going to do is, with passengers inside, we always want to turn on, not dark mode, but camp mode. Just to keep them inside. Okay, let's head out. There are 32 stalls in this supercharger station. We are about 20 minutes drive south of the Bay Area. Over here, as a Tesla user, when I unplug this, it just releases the normal Tesla connector, which is small and light, and we just plug it in. Again, Tesla superchargers are plug and play experience. You take it out, you plug it in, you wait for the blue to turn green, it's charging, that's it. No separate app or credit card needed because all our details are already on the Tesla app. This is the easiest charging experience by far of all brands. Now, if you look very closely over here, there is a connector down here. I'm not able to take it out. When I unplug this, it only pulls out the Tesla connector. To remove this adapter, which is a CCS adapter, the owner would actually need to use the Tesla app, connect as a non-Tesla EV, select the bay, so like say bay 4C down here. These are all the bay numbers for non-Tesla owners to use. When they select 4C, let's say they park their Kia EV6 down here, when they release this, this adapter will be locked in with the head, so nobody can steal the adapter. It's a very elegant solution by Tesla. Let's take a walk down this supercharger station to see if there are any non-Tesla EVs here. Follow me. We have a OG white Tesla Model S behind me. Let's go down this side. It looks like for today, it's all Teslas. So we've got another Model S and Model 3, both in silver. But well, I can see from all of these bays here, all of them accept CCS charging. They have the magic dock. So you can tell by this bigger adapter head over here. So there's a sign up here for non-Tesla EVs. Say you're driving a Bolt, or you're driving an F-150 from Ford, you just scan this QR code, there are instructions for non-Teslas on how to charge here. So this is the first few of many more Tesla superchargers for non-Tesla EVs to come, not just in North America, but around the world. In Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, they will definitely open up to non-Tesla EVs. It's a matter of when and not if. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.